Hello, this is Trevor from Telecom Training, and today we're going to be using Cisco Pocket Tracer to set up a lab exercise. We're going to set up this lab exercise using um, two workstation computers, one switch, one router, one web server, and one DNS server. So let's get to it. Now here we have all the routers. I'm going to select the very first one, the 4331 router. Place it there. I'm going to select a switch. I'm going to use the 2960 switch. And then I'm going to select some workstation computers. So let's select the two computers that we're supposed to be using. I'll just put that one in the middle, that one over there, and a couple of servers over here. Okay, so now we're just going to connect them all. Okay, so everything is connected up. Um, now I'm going to uh, name them. I'm going to name this first one as the DNS server. I'm going to give it an IP address of 192.168.2.8. I'm going to call this one the web server. Web server. W-E-B. Web server 192.168.2.10. And this one here, this will be the gateway. So this will be 192.168.2.1 for the gateway. Now that everything is assigned, um, I won't be assigning IP addresses for these two computers because these computers here are going to be dynamically um, assigned. The IP addresses for these computers are going to be dynamically assigned by the router and that's part of this exercise. So I'm going to show you exactly how this is all done where we will assign these ones statically but these will be downloaded automatically by the router. So I'll show you how this is all done right now. So okay so we got into the router here I'm just going to select CLI and this is right into the router. This is exactly what a router looks like on the inside. I'll click N, No, Enter, Enable, and I'm gonna go Config T, and I'm gonna change the host name. Right now we have a router. Let's see what router router zero. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at router zero. So I'm going to call it um, hostname space router zero. So right now it says just router. I want that to say router zero. So I'm going to type R O U T E R zero. Enter. So it changes to router zero now, and that's exactly what I want. Okay. So now I want to get onto this interface gig zero dot zero uh, gig zero slash zero slash zero. So interface gig zero slash zero slash zero enter. Okay, I'm right in that router. I'm right on that interface right now. So now I want to assign an IP address to this interface. This would be the gateway IP I have here. So I want to assign it to this interface here. Okay, so I would go IP address 192.168.2.1 space 255.255.255.0 okay so I'll just go enter right now so now um, that IP address is assigned to that interface but it's still not up until I type no shut no shut and enter you'll see this red change to green that means it is syncing up and this is changed to orange. So now this is, will be changed to green shortly and it will all be sunk up and working fine. So I will continue setting up this router. I have to go exit to get off this interface. 
And the next thing I want to do is to set up the DHCP option. It's called DHCP pool. Okay, so this is so that the IP address will be automatically downloaded to these two PCs here. I wouldn't have to put the DNS server IP. I wouldn't have to assign a specific IP for these computers. Once you plug them in, it's automatically downloaded to that computer. Okay, so this is how it is done. I'll type um, IP DHCP uh, space pool, and I can give it any name. I'm just going to call it local. Okay, but you can type any name for this here. You can change this for any name you you, you choose to. And next, I will type network space one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot zero this is a network IP address for this particular local area network I'm using um, the entire 255 IPs uh, we have to use a network IP which is 2.0 for this so, and the subnet mass zero okay so we, so here we go so once I hit enter that's done so next I have to assign the default router and the default router gateway which is 192.168.2.1 so I just type default router space 192.168.2.1 so the router knows this that the the router knows that the local area network that it'll be downloading the IP addresses too is on this interface here okay which is the um, the gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface which has this IP address and this is exactly what I've just told it to do so I'll hit enter and why didn't it go and this is one reason to go this is a very common mistake I didn't put the dash in so I'll just delete that I'll go back do default dash router I, I had put default space router 192.168.2.1 okay and it took it this time so that's all good now so the DNS server I have to put in now uh, the DNS server IP is this one 192.168.2 and 8 okay so I'll put DNS server DNS dash server don't forget the dash space 192.168.2.8 up oh, hit 98 okay now I'll hit enter and that's done so everything is done now there's only one other thing we have to do the fact that we're using static IP addresses in um, this this local area network not just all dynamically assigned IPs we have to tell the router that is the case if we don't the router would assign these IP addresses and you will have an IP conflict okay so this is how you do it so that this router will not double assign these IP addresses here as well okay so you have to tell it not to do that and the way you do is go IP DHCP exclude exclude it um, excluded oops exclude ed dash address 192.168.2.8 which is the IP address of the DNS server space 192.168.2.10 which is the IP address of the web server these are the two IPs that we don't want to sign and by the way because uh, 2.9 is between 2.8 and 2.10 that would also not be assigned if you didn't want it to to exclude dot nine as well you'll have to put these in separately okay you'll have to put this IP uh, DCP exclude dash address 192.168.2.8 return and then put dot two dot ten separately but if you want it to um, exclude all three you'll just uh, put space one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot 
one zero. Okay, so dot nine would also be excluded in this case. All right, so that's done. So now I just go exit, get out of there, and I'll just get out of there. And this router is all set up right now. Mm -hmm. So I will go now to the to my DNS server, and I will set that up. Click on desktop. Here, I'm going to assign a static IP, which is the 192.2.168.2.8, which I have here. And subnet mask, the default gateway, 192.168.2.1. The DNS server is 192.168.2.8, CMCM IP, right? And now I go to services. And here, um, I will click on DNS, which is right here. Click on that. It tells me the DNS server is off, so I will turn that on. And I will type a name in here. This is a URL of my web server. Okay, so I'll type that in here, and I will have to put the IP address of this web server, which is this IP here in this area here. So I'll, I'll just call it cisco.com. How is that? cisco.com okay and we'll put an IP address in there which which is 192.168.2.10 and you click add and it places it here so that's done okay so now you can uh, close this get out of here let's go to the web server in the web server now we will click on desktop we'll assign the IP address 192.168 8.2.10 uh, uh, the subnet mass the default gateway 192.168.2.1 and the DNS server IP is 192.168.2.8 right 192.168.2.8 and that's done so I'll just go to services here and this is already turned on. It says HTTP is on, so you don't have to do anything there. All you have to do here is go to index.html and you edit. Now, I just want to edit this. You don't really have to, but I just want to show you that uh, I can put my own information in here. So I will um, just take this, this part out. Let's do the whole thing. Just go right up to there. Just delete that and I'll put my own information in uh, and I'll go a close I'll just put a few stars I'll make it look fancy and then in caps I'll put welcome to cisco.com and I'll put a few more stars on the top there okay and I'll just close that slash a close oops it's common a okay okay and that's it and I'll just click on save there is already a file with the same name overwrite click yes because you want to change the information that's in there yes and that's done so you have set up the DNS server and the web server so now I will go to my PCs here. Okay, I'll click on desktop. On now, I don't want to set it up statically like I did for the webs the, for the DNS server and the web server. I want to set it up dynamically so that the IP addresses will be downloaded from the router directly here. So if this is all done right, it should happen now. So I'll just click on DCP. And it's requesting the IP address, and here we go. 192.168.2.2 was assigned. Correct subnet mass. The gateway is 192.168.2.1, which is what we're signing here. And the DNS server, 192.168.2.8, which is the DNS server for this, and we did assign it in here. So all the information was downloaded to the computer. So that's done. So now I'll get out of there. Next thing I want to do is to go to web browser just to make sure that this all works the way we think it should. 
So if I type cisco.com there, click on go, I got the cisco.com. You remember I put all the stars in there, welcome to cisco.com, and it looks perfect, okay? Uh, now if this, so what has happened here is that this computer here didn't know anything about cisco.com. It didn't know the IP address, nothing. So what it did is it went to the DNS server uh, ask the DNS server for the IP address of cisco.com. The DNS server gave that IP address to the PC. The PC now has that IP. It knows to contact the DNS server with this IP address, dot ten. So once it contacts the web server, the web page was sent. So everything here that we have done today is how it all works within the real world. So if you understand this, you can buy yourself a router, you can set it up, you can set up a local area network because this is the way it really works. Now, for this other computer here, I can also set this up um, with a static IP address or dynamic IP address. If I click on DHCP, it's going to download a dynamic IP, which is 2.3, and it will all work the same. If I click static, I will have to put my own IP. So let's let's select an IP address in this range 192.168.2. Let's say we collect something that's not being used 2.6. Okay, subnet mass is there and we select the gateway 192.168.2.1 and the DNS server 192.168.2.8. Okay. So everything is good there, so I'll just close that up and I'll go to the browser and I'll try to get to cisco.com this way. Um, so I'll go to cisco.com and I was able to get to it there as well. So you could assign your IP addresses dynamically or statically once it's within the IP address range of your local area network. Most IT people would rather do it dynamically because every time a computer is plugged in, uh, he doesn't have to, he or she doesn't have to go and set up that computer manually. It once you plug it in, the information is downloaded, and away you go. Uh, so it just uh, saves a bit of work. Okay. So my name is Trevor from Telecon Training. If this video has been helpful to you, click on the subscribe and notification button below so that you'll be alerted when the next video is released.